Good afternoon, everybody. It's the Butterfly Crafter, Nina Minky. So, yeah. Um, so, I'm sorry for the noise, but it's very hot out, and I have the AC going, and I'm not going to shut it off, so I will try and talk as loud as I can. So, Saturday, yes, I did the memorial service for my daughter's father, and down to the cemetery, and then we walked around because there's other family members down there. Um, my little nephew, who was five years old at the time, he got hit by a car. So, we went down there and just kind of cleaned up around his gravesite and his stone, and, you know, just kind of cleaned that off, and, you know. So, then after that, we went to my daughter's, her aunt's house, and just so happened, across the street, there was a yard sale. Well, before that, when we were down to cemetery, we were talking about putting together um, a family tree book. You know, something so that I could give my oldest daughter, because I know she'll take care of it. I know my other two forget it. They'll, like, lose it, or my other one will still destroy it, and it'll be gone. So, come across, and I was looking through all this stuff, and then I found some books, and just so happened that I found this book, and it says Grandmother Remembrance, and this is what it looks like, and I paid a dollar for this book. It's brand new. It's not been written in or nothing. I don't even know how much this book originally cost. Let's see here. Let's see if I can show you some basically. So there's like where I put the family tree. You can see that. And then it just goes on and on. Um, about my grandparents. My mother's family, my dad's um, family, so you know, I'll just ask you a bunch of questions. Um, the world when my mother was young. But it's just, it's crazy. So I can put pictures in here. Um, parents born, you know, it's just all kinds of stuff when I was young. So yeah, I mean, I could. This is really pretty. But there's no price on it. So I don't even know how much. Um, but there is a website you can go on. And the website is just www.readon.com. So I don't know if you can, if I can get that close enough. Can go on there and see if they still have this book or not and uh, check it out might be able to find something uh, like I say and that's what it's called so I thought that was pretty cool so and then so then after all that we ate dinner, and then around 5 o'clock, I had to go to my youngest daughter and babysit the three grandchildren, which is a four-month-old, a two-year-old, and an eight-year-old. I was beat, because I was up at 3 o'clock in the morning feeding the baby. I was like, okay. And then the two-year-old woke up, and I was like, oh, Jesus. That's not good. So, they got home Sunday, Mom and Dad. They got home Sunday, and I came home, and... They had our arts and crafts show up and down our main street area, which is like one, two, three, about four blocks up the street. You walk up one side and then you come back down and you walk the other side. Well, I really didn't see too much and um, I end up did I did buy these though because these are really nice. They're the melts and I've already used one of them. This is white tea and berries and it's 1.5 ounce and they come in this size this size they're real thick so I mean 
I can break this in half and use this for two warmers because that's how big they are. So, but yeah, I've got, and this, this one smells so good. I wish you could have smell, but it smells kind of like strawberries and oh my gosh. But yeah, but I know the girl, so I can get more. A dollar a piece, I can't beat that because one can use for two warmers. So I got the white tea and berries, and then I've got, I got five of these. So I have five of these. And then I got four of what she had left was the sage leaf. And oh my gosh, does this smell so good. Mm. It's trying to smell, it smells, kind of smells like baby powder. Is what it smells like, kind of, that's what it kind of smells like, is baby powder, so yes so I will have these for a while we'll see how long the smell lasts so that was Sunday today's Monday and I got up and I went to Walmart and I got a birthday party to go to which is for my great nephew and I, I couldn't find any other um, Hot Wheel cars so I ended up buying them the Adventure Force and it's a five pack so I end up getting them this one. Sorry for the glare. But that's what I got in this one. And I think this one, I'm not sure what this one was. And then the Hot Wheels, they didn't have very much. This is HW Zombies. So I end up getting this one. But as far as finding the ones like, like Native Chicas found, I. I'm ha not having any luck at all. It's just not. The, I'm looking for the. Sorry, guys, for the glare. I'm just trying to show you what they look like. So, but yeah, so those are what I got him. I, I forgot to get my birthday card. Leave it to me. Then I got some laundry soap and a hammer. And it's just a uh, 54 ounce. And it's clean burst. And then I got a small bottle of Clorox. So that's just, uh, let's see. Just regular, there's, it's non scent, there's no scent to it. And then I got these fabric sheets. These are the pet hair ones, and this is the ones I've been looking for. And there's like 80 in here, but they're three times mega sheets. So um, I opened them up, I was like, oh, I got the smell. But they smell pretty good. So I'm gonna see, because when I wash my um, dog's blankets, there's just hair all over the place. So I'm gonna see if these work, and it's a fresh scent, and if it takes off all the dog hair, and it calls all the dog hair off her blankets and stuff, because she has short hair, but the amount of hair in her blankets is just unbelievable. And I think these were like five bucks. But if they work, it's worth it. And they're 22 by 32. So it's mega sheets. Like so. so yeah, they're pretty big. So we'll see if this works. I gotta, I gotta wash her or blankets and stuff. She just lays, lays on a blanket like she is now. She's laying over on the floor over there. Because I'm trying to keep it cool in one room because the, this AC does not cool the whole place. And I got another one of these containers. The other one's getting kind of full. And thinking about maybe I'll just put my beads in there. I'm not sure yet. Because the other ones I got don't have handles on it. So I'm thinking maybe I might just put my beads in this one. So, there's that. And then, I ended up grabbing this paper towel. I like this one. This is pretty. The other ones they had, I didn't like them. I just didn't care for them. This one, the, the paper's not real thick. I've had this one before. It's really pretty. The flowers and stuff. So, yeah. So I wanted to get 
with some paper, but it's this one, and that's what's in there. Let's see, I'll show you some pictures. I love the flowers. Everybody's enjoying the weather. I mean, it's really hot out. It, we're, the heat index is above 90 right now. Just this one. And these are double sided too, so I can either use either side. So yeah, that's the other side of that. There's this one. There's one in here that's really my favorite. There's, and then they just have these plain ones that are like the marble color. And if I can find it. Where is it? I've got to find it. Oh, and then they have this one. Really pretty. I like to use these to make cards. Fifty sheets in this one. Where is it? Where's this one? Oops, sorry. And that's on that side. And like I say, they have gold lines on thrown, and that's the back side of that one. Pretty pretty. Okay, let's open that. Okay, where is it? That's my favorite one. We have this one. Here it is. This is my favorite one right there. I love this one. This is so pretty. I hate giving it up and using it for something. But that's the back side of it. That, that's the back side of it. So, yeah. The other ones they have there, I just really didn't care for them. They're all the same one. It's like you need to go. Uh, so that's mostly what's in there. I like paper pads with flowers, different colors in there. Oh boy. And there's this one. Sorry about that. Never fails. Never does. But anyways, there's just other things like leaves and stuff. But it's not real thick paper. It's... Eh, it kind of is. Kind of. I don't know. Eh, it's not really heavy cardstock. It's kind of light. But, um, 12, it's 12 by 12, there's 50 sheets, um, 50 double-sided papers, so, you know, I think this one was like $10, so, but, and then a little project share, um, I made, um, I, I used this one that, uh, Kathy's cards gave me. I used this one and then I had a found a butterfly charm. I don't know if somebody gave it to me or where it came from, I don't remember. But I made that and then I put the butterfly bow on there and it's been staying together so far, so I mean and then I got my name on there. And that was from Martha Hamilton that gave me that. So 
But yep, I made this one, and um, so like I say, I'm, I'm trying. I've been monkeying with it just to make sure nothing's going to fall off, and check them all. So like there's bows on here, and just, you know, just making sure everything stays on. So, so far, so good. So, I'm trying. Figured I'd do something just kind of help me relax. So yeah, that's what I made. So let me know what you think. If it, you know, this is my color. It's a teal. I, I thought it was pretty. So, so yeah. So thank you, Kathy, because now I used it on my key ring and I made sure it's staying on there. It's not going to come off. So there's all kinds of other flowers in here and butterflies. So, and the beads and stuff so let me know what you think all right everybody hope you enjoy your day bye for now